This is Bank of America's Global Proprietary Signals Report. This is a compendium of indicators across different economies, strategies, markets, and asset classes, and reflects the insights of global research analysts at Bank of America. Growth indicators are giving bearish signals, but this is stabilized in September of 2022. The goods economy is doing worse than the services economy. As you can see here, consumer spending on services is still growing, while the goods boom after COVID has unwound. Manufacturing data is below the 50-point threshold. Meanwhile, services data has been rising steadily for the start of the year. Internet advertising has been trending up after inflecting in November of last year. And China producers remain pessimistic. Earnings projections are building on the stronger-than-expected Q1 earnings, signs pointing towards an improving trend. U.S. corporations have cut costs and issued the strongest guidance in two years. This is translated into a world EPS growth of 25% in the next 12 months. Easier financial conditions in China are likely to have a positive effect on profits as well. Exports from Japan, Korea, Singapore, and Taiwan also show a glimmer of hope. Signs of stabilization imply that the contraction may have found a bottom. Corporate sentiment in the U.S. point to a potential earnings recovery ahead. Leading indicators anticipate global earnings to grow in the next 12 months. Communication services, utilities, and financials are leading the way. Energy and materials are laggards. Inflation, meanwhile, has had a persistent decline. U.S. CPI has had a symmetrical retracement so far, as the Fed tries to get back to target. Food prices have been cooling off, and supply chains have gotten less crowded. Meanwhile, prices paid for services businesses are cratering calling for a moderation in the sticky services inflation. And the deceleration in home prices hints at a moderation in shelter inflation. Quantitative tightening looms, which could put downward pressure on risk assets. The Fed and ECB remain steadfast on their quest for balance sheet normalization. While the BOJ continues to pump liquidity, the People's Bank of China could follow suit. And this could be the deciding factor in the market's ahead. Central banks like the Bank of England and the Royal Bank of Australia are turning more hawkish again. Meanwhile, sentiment has remained bearish and we've been climbing this wall of worry. Even Japan, which is at multi-decade highs, shows that there could be more upside. If you want to see the rest of the report, it's on my LinkedIn, which is in my bio.